Oh boy. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we are apparently getting attacked by stranger wolves because this area was not claimed when we went to sleep and it is now. So, uh, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get, I suppose. Oh boy. All right. Oh, no. I guess we could go in the water to escape them. However, uh, get out of here. I'm gonna just keep getting attacked and pulled off. This is Kravis Lake 1F. She came all the way out here herself. Oh, she has a little short stumpy tail too. Uh, I didn't even remember that about her. Oh boy, go on, get out. We're just trying to take a nap and it's snowing. <laughs> anyway, we're back in Wolf Quest in the public beta with Tempest and uh, her prospective mate immigrant 43M. I need my stamina back so that I can continue to attack here. Because uh, I don't want to have to run all the way down. No, heck off and leave me alone. There we go. Are you guys on the run yet? Good. Get out of here. I think if we howl, like we're not in claimed territory and we won't be claiming territory on this map. But I think we can at unclaimed territory. Hello, Evelyn. <laughs> there we go. Can we get some dang sleep now? I think we can. We're going to go ahead and uh, try to rest. Hello, Evelyn. Evelyn is uh, here to say hello, but we're gonna go ahead. We will uh, we will sleep the night and hopefully these guys will leave us alone now for a little bit. And we probably will exit the territory and head back to the no man's land, but I don't want to hike all the way down there. So anyway, we'll see you in the morning. All right, we made it back out to the no man's land where I think we're gonna hang out if we can. We just had uh, gotten a little caught up chasing Pronghorn in the last episode and run very far up to the north there. But unfortunately, thanks to that little uh, late night escapade, we are not quite full on health. I don't think it'll be an issue. Hello, Pronghorn. Is this our chance for redemption? Possibly. Uh, some of you guys have uh, been <laughs> uh, calling me on the fact that I said I'm not doing a pronghorn challenge. This is, is it a pronghorn challenge? However, I do want to spend some time fooling around with them because uh, they are new. Um, they, 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 they are new, and uh, we do want to check them out. Even though they're not really supposed to be like a stable prey source, you, it's you can still catch them under the right circumstances. And it, it's you know I want the accomplishment of of doing that before before I can set my hubris aside and uh, ignore them for their foreseeable future. <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, that one slowed down right in front of us, and I wasn't expecting it. And then another one ran over and, and kicked us in the head, so we didn't exactly get it but uh, we're pretty close to finishing our courtship I'm actually hopeful that we will do that today and can move over to Amethyst Mountain uh, which some of you guys have been asking how we're gonna do that we can actually do that when we get the family snapshot we can just load up into Slough Creek there's no in built-in way to transfer maps from Slough Creek to Amethyst Mountain at this point I don't think um, oh that's a fawn all right so the mother's gonna come back and attack us here um, oh but it looks like immigrant is on it uh, he he's good at this good Goodness sakes. And you have two fawns. Oh, our minor injury is healed. We're about to take another one if we're not careful. Oh, that's the... Goodness, that's the doe. <laughs> I, I... Okay. I don't remember which one now we were attacking. Oh my goodness, this is chaos. This is the one that was almost down. All right. We, got, we just need like... Stop it! <laughs> we just need... Cut it out! We just need like one more bite. Can we get it down? There we go. Leave us alone. All right, there we go. Um, I was gonna say it'd be good to get another bit of food, although to be honest, I don't think that we're gonna get too much. Y'all just wanna watch? She, she thinks we're still threatening her other cap. We might have to, honestly. Oh, he is still going after it! <laughs> yeah, y'all y'all should probably run! Yeah, there we go. Okay, they're leaving. Um, we might have to hunt again, though, because this is not a whole lot of food. So if they stick around, we may need more than that. But yeah, we're just going to be using that snapshot to load up in Amethyst Mountain so that we can check out that uh, portion of it. It just I just thought it would be fun to also see the uh, Slaw Creek fall. Are you? He's only at 80, so we definitely do need to hunt again. I shouldn't have eaten quite so much there. Uh, but I'm hoping we'll finish our courtship today. I think Tempest has a good feel about this guy so far. Uh, a lot of you guys also really liked him. Uh, he is older than her. That's something that some of you guys pointed out. He is age four. And I don't know if we'll be playing all the way through age eight. A lot of our We Finder side stories, we don't. Uh, it's not to say it's entirely possible, but we have a lot of wolves. These guys aren't 
the most super mainline ones. And so usually uh, we'll let them check out their respected features and then go on with their with their, with their lives. So uh, we'll, we'll see if we return to Tempest story or not. We're going to play it through at least one pup's run. And then if everybody survives that, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see about the future. I, I don't know at this point. Um, but of course, even when we don't play it, their stories, we can presume that they do go on at some point. There are mule deer here. We could hunt the mule deer, um, but 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 it does feel kind of wrong to not go for it. It's not it's not a pronghorn challenge. <laughs> I and everybody's gonna be in the comments saying that I'm just in denial over that. I I, I don't. I don't want to ever do an official pronghorn challenge, I guess is the way of putting it, because the moment that I lock us into eating nothing but pronghorns, we're in for a world of hurt. <laughs> At least here we have the chance to retreat and hunt something else if things uh, truly go topsy-turvy, but I, I definitely think that Tempest is quite curious about these uh, the, these newer arrivals in the world of Yellowstone, and uh, kind of wants to get a good feel for them, definitely establishing that they're not the best of... Um, uh, of prey sources, they are a little unreliable and a little challenging to catch, and that that's accurate. Pronghorn are stupid fast in real life as well. Uh, funnily enough, funnily enough, and I haven't seen the results of this yet, so I'm, might be a little bit, little bit, little bit sad about this. But so pronghorn are stupid fast, I believe, because uh, they 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 think that that is to allow them to es escape prehistoric predators like the American cheetah, which is. <laughs> An animal that, by complete coincidence, I ended up actually drawing this past week, or at least a version of it, because it is up in the, uh, it is up as one of the options to be added to the ARC remake. Uh, so I drew an American Cheetah this, re this week, or at least the ARC concept art-ish version of it, which is really cool. Um, some, some of you guys are asking me about that as well. <laughs> uh, but that's why they think that Pronghorn are so fast, because they were not necessarily competing with only modern predators that have survived the Ice Age, like wolves and stuff, but also potentially even faster predators that aren't around anymore, like the American cheetah, uh, that, you know, it was a cheetah. It was fast as heck and uh, could potentially run down a pronghorn. So wolves are not really the intended predator, I guess, for the Amer or for the pronghorn, um, but their, their intended... Intended predators really aren't around anymore, if, if I remember correctly. I don't actually know a whole lot about pronghorn, and I don't know about a lot of a whole lot about the prehistoric uh, creatures of Yellowstone. But pre prehistoric life is definitely interesting. Uh, I grew up in pretty close proximity to the La Brea tar pits, and those are known for you know like dire wolves, saber toothed tigers, and stuff, and mammoths. Uh, there was a lot of interesting things that lived down in the Southern California area in the, um, in the Ice Age time, so, uh, that, that, and I was also definitely a dinosaur kid growing up, so I, I I've had my fascinations with, with, uh, prehistoric life. It's always interesting, but it's always, like, you know, it always makes me a little bit sad, because, you know, I, I would have, I would have loved to see some of those animals, and, like, I, we don't, there's only so much you can learn about them from the, the bones of ancient history. You know, we learn what we can, but we don't really completely know what they what they look like. And it's just, I don't know. Um, I'm looking for the pro there's I should be following the scent. Um, there there's a lot of a lot of things about prehistory that are pretty dang fascinating when you poke into them. <laughs> Even just like the idea of reconstructions trying to figure out from bones what an animal that was made of meat looked like. Um, there's some famous examples of like if you look at just a hippo's skull in and of itself, the way you'd reconstruct that would give you a pretty different looking creature than the actual animal because you know hippos are very chunky, um, they're very large creatures, and uh, that doesn't necessarily really reflect when a lot of that is you know like fat and muscle mass. That doesn't really reflect when you get a fossil. So were the dinosaurs super chunky? Were were dire wolves or mammoths or? Saber tooth tiger is super chunky. We don't. We don't really know. We don't. We probably can infer some things by animals that have a mo more more modern counterpart, like you know, dire wolves are I think cl most closely related to coyotes. They think or something like that. So it's interesting. Pa paleo paleo uh, research is very interesting. Pa um, pre prehistoric research is really interesting. But anyway, that's kind of a tangent. So that's why the, the pronghorn are as fast as they they are. 
is because they weren't really competing with, they weren't really meant to compete with wolves, and so that's why we had such a hard time catching them, and we can't really do it without a, you know, without, 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 without getting into a situation, like, without putting the pronghorn in a situation that disadvantages it, I guess, uh, like, getting it caught in difficult terrain, or getting the drop on it, um, because otherwise, you know, we're just not going to outsprint them. And that that's, that's I think, intended. That's not... Like, these guys are, are not supposed to be a reliable food source. It's not... Um, it's not that they're too fast. It's that they're accurately fast and are just meant to pose that much of a challenge. Ow! And yet, they have no qualms about headbutting me. <laughs> that, that, like, that's the thing about the pronghorn, is they really will just walk up and whack the living crud out of you. Anyway, uh, immigrant, I hope that's enough food for you. <laughs> Uh, there we go. A couple of pronghorn hunts done. The 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 fawns are definitely easier to uh, to catch than the stupid bucks. I'm still salty about that, but uh, you know we, we've got we've got a pronghorn immunity er, community event uh, that you'll be seeing shortly as well, where the. Uh, the, 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 the name of the game was chasing down the, the new pronghorn, so don't worry, I will get my, uh, I have had my pronghorn-related vengeance. <laughs> uh, anyway, are you still hungry? Bud? You good? Oh, I guess he must have eaten. Okay, he ate when I wasn't looking, alright. Yeah, I guess he did eat when I, and I wasn't looking. So, that's pretty good. We're not quite up on the affinity, though, so, hmm, are you thinking you might want to do another hunt? We might want to rest first, actually, uh, all things considered. We are pretty tired at present. Alright, well, for as long as we're still here, maybe we will try to track down Pronghorn one more time and see if we can hunt a buck. I... I... I this is... this is sheer hubris. This... this really is, and this is... this is Tempest's curiosity and... and just wanting to know if it's possible, but, um... I, I really don't... I, I feel salty that we didn't <laughs> succeed. <laughs> I'm stubborn. I want to win. Oh, and here they are. All right. Are we able... If we run in... No, we're not going to get... Oh, but maybe if we drive them through the rest of the herd now. So the males are all out in front there. I think they're just that little bit stronger and faster than most pronghorn is the issue here. Now, one of the things we learned we can do is we can kind of drive the other pronghorn back on them and kind of get them caught up, but that, that didn't work so well. I think maybe the hills are going to be our best bet here, see if we can get them kind of tripped up there. Is that? No, that's a pronghorn. The pronghorn kind of look like wolves at a different at a distance too. Is interesting. They kind of have some of those some of those colors. They're about that height. All right, you're thinking you're gonna go up those hills. This is pretty perfect for us if we can get a little bit closer. Some of it. I don't know how much the wind direction determines how quickly prey animals spook once you're in eyesight or night. Oh, they're running though. Oh, can we get this guy? We can get this guy. Yes! Redemption! Redemption! We're doing 30 damage! Now the problem was he kicked us off really far the last time, so we didn't get to do as much damage as we would like. Oh, he's standing his ground! He is standing his ground! Are we gonna get him? <laughs> I'm waiting for my stamina to come back so that I don't immediately do that. Oh, he's low though! Oh my goodness, I think we might actually succeed. Is this the redemption we've been waiting for? I think so. Oh my goodness. So yeah, the answer is absolutely to just trap them. Are you going to take him down? Nice work, bud. There we go. That's better than the runaround chase we had that spanned the entirety of the uh, the previous episode. All right, I can I can be happy with that now. Oh, there we go. This wolf is impressed with your strength and hunting skills and is willing to be your mate. Do you want to be their mate? Yes. I, we are going to go ahead and say yes. And a lot of you guys sent in some very good name suggestions, but there was one that stood out to me. And I think it fits him quite well. And that name is Chase. Uh, because we're probably going to be doing a lot of that. I expect we still will try to go after some of the uh, pronghorns. Um... But uh, we are going to go ahead and we will start establishing a territory, but we're not going to do that here on or in Slough Creek. We're going to actually have them head back over the hills to it's kind of up to the up to the, the top right of the screen over those hills is Amethyst Mountain. So we're going to let those guys make that journey and uh, we will catch up with them once they get there.
And here we are on the slopes of Amethyst Mountain. Of course, we have our intro here. A wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else from hunting elk to defending a territory drives toward this single goal. You and your mate survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realize this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, sometimes called alphas of your pack. Their survival and the survival of your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you face to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. And this is Amethyst Mountain in the winter. Now, we've kind of already seen the deep winter season in Amethyst Mountain, but not to establish territory. Uh, we are on the eastern or no, the Western Dens config. Uh, I, I do like both territory configs quite a lot. Uh, I played a little bit with, um, with both of them off camera, uh, but I kind of like this. I, I feel like I don't know. There, there's a lot of a lot of pros and cons to each of them, and I kind of want to try to find some of the dens before we establish our territory. Kind of figure out which one we're gonna, which one we're actually gonna use. But I feel like I kind of like the whole area here just a little bit more. It, it's a little bit less hilly. The the eastern ones ends up on some of the slopes, and so you're always going up and down the cliffs and. And, and, and that is fun, and I'm sure we will have some wolves over there at some point. <laughs> However, that said, I, I I fall off of cliffs a lot. I fall down hills a lot, and so I don't know if that's the, the best option for, for this particular pair. I think they're going to settle a little bit higher up on the hills to the west here. But, oh, it's just... It's so cool. Like, I know, I know the winter season isn't super new for Amethyst Mountain. We've had deep winter... For, for quite some time, I think even pre Slough Creek, but it still feels different going into it, knowing that around here somewhere there are dens. And of course, uh, we have some new packs here too, uh, and some different colors actually, because I think Lamar used to be purple. So we have Lamar Canyon is in red down here. In fact, Lamar Canyon uh, is actually where Tempest's mom is from. Raven is from the uh, Lamar Canyon pack. So we might see some, uh, some relatives. Hopefully they leave us alone. Uh, we also have Rescue Creek here in purple taking the place of Junction Butte and the Molly's pack taking the place of the Wapiti pack. Now I think the Wapiti pack is still around on the other territory config, but I believe it was confirmed in a devlog that Junction Butte is completely off of Amethyst Mountain now. Uh, they're still in Slough Creek. We were tangling with them over there, weren't we? Um, I think they're still in Slough Creek, but yeah, they're no longer on Amethyst Mountain from what I'm aware. I, I don't think they're on even the other territory config. Uh, we have to see. We'll have to see next time we play with that. But it is interesting, too. I like how they're kind of updating certain things. There's, like, even if you look at the dispersal names, there's some new dispersal name pack names as well. Uh, in fact, I think even Chase, can we still see here? Yeah, he was Immigrant 43M. I don't think the Immigrant pack was around earlier. So it's interesting to see how WolfQuest is kind of updating things. I think it's it's neat to see how they're, they're, they're keeping it more up to date. They're actually changing it compared to, I think, how things really are in Yellowstone, what packs are more active, what packs are uh, less active or even not around anymore. Uh, of course, the, one of the biggest examples is that when really early Wolf Quest came out, one of the major packs was the Druid pack, and the Druid pack has now completely disintegrated. Uh, it's been quite some time now. Uh, they weren't even in the original release of Wolf Quest 3, but uh, it's, it's interesting to see how they're kind of keeping up with the change, uh, uh, the changing in real life as well, or if you look at the burn here on Amethyst Mountain, which we're kind of in that area. We might go over there at some point, but um, maybe we don't want to be out this far up. Maybe we'll actually head back towards the burn a little bit, but if you look at it, it's a lot more grown up in uh, in this version of the game. The trees are a lot bigger than they were in the old version of Wolf Quest. It's really neat to see how they are kind of updating that as they go along, but uh, y'all have seen Territory Quest before. It's kind of just a matter of finding where exactly you want to settle. Mostly we're going to want to look for some different dens, so I think we'll let these guys go off, do their thing, and we'll catch up with them in a little bit once they've had the chance to find some dens, figure out where they're putting their territory, and start to settle in. Oh, here we go. We've got our first den somewhere in this area. Oh, I do smell it as well. Oh yeah, we have the collectibles here too, the metal bucket. Uh, but there's a den right down here. So all of these are, are ones that none of our wolves here have ever found before. And I think... 
Yeah, look at this. It is an old fallen tree. Gosh, that just brings back so many memories because I remember way back and goodness gracious, this is this is going to this is going to make me seem really old. <laughs> But I remember a really old school Wolf Quest uh, before Slough Creek ever came out in any form. So way back in the one point whatever version, 1.5 I think was Amethyst Mountain Deluxe or whatever. Um, people used to go in multiplayer and they used to pretend that the fallen trees in the burn were dens. And I remember that. I remember being in multiplayer role plays. Oh, there's another den over here somewhere. Um, I remember being in multiplayer role plays where we were pretending that the uh, <laughs> that the that the um, the the fallen trees were den. I did used to I did used to role play on Wolf Quest, and in fact, I, hilariously enough. Um, I, this, that, that's why that I have the typing skills that I do today. People always compliment me on being a really fast typer because I type really fast. People are like, oh, Jay, where did you learn to type so fast? It was WolfQuest Roleplay. Um, I learned on pure spite because people used to ask me if I was AFK because I took so long to type because I used like two fingers and I got really tired of that happening. And I, I don't know exactly how it worked, but somehow I just got good and like, like I literally don't have another way to describe it. I was just like, well, well, no, heck this. And then I learned to type. <laughs> I just, and I don't even type properly. I type really, really weird, but I also do type really, really fast. I'm, I can hit like 70 words per minute at least. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, that's my funny story with, with Wolf Quest and learning how to type. Oh, I see another scent to uh, scent trail coming from this way here uh so we're starting to stumble on some of the new amethyst mountain dens i i, I but yeah i appreciate that there are some in this area uh because it kind of harkens back to that and uh, that th just makes me happy to see some homage paid to that Am I, if i say that word i don't know my pron pronunciation on the other hand is atrocious <laughs> uh but ooh, that looks like a cool den over there uh a fallen tree again very much in the vein uh, uh of the the classic pre-den dens that we used to so we've got three of them like right in this area here oh we've got another den here somewhere i don't know if we can smell it oh i do smell it indeed all right we're gonna mark this territory so we're probably gonna have to sleep we're not gonna get this done in one day because i don't want to be running around with no stamina but uh i think we we've got i think yeah we got almost a almost a full circle here um but we'll, we'll go ahead and see what this den is because I'm still not entirely settled on which one I want to choose. Uh, I want to look at the options that wind up being in convenient places in our territory. We can always shuffle things around if we need to just a little bit. Um, but there, there's a lot of really good options <laughs> here here on Amethyst. There's a lot of really neat dens. And uh, it's just... Oh, here, here it is, I think. Oh, yeah, it's another it's another tree one. There's a lot of really good tree dens on Amethyst. It's probably why I like the Amethyst dens so much, actually. Uh, you know, I'm very partial to, to tree dens. But it's... It, it's definitely wild to be able to have dens here, finally. Like, I, I, I'm still not over it that this is... That this is a step beyond anything that Wolf Quest has ever done before. We've never had the ability to den on Amethyst Mountain. This is the first time in Wolf Quest history that this has been possible, that we've been able to play in uh, in fall on Slough Creek and in spring and summer on Amethyst. And it's it's really exciting to, to see this development, to see the game going on to take that next step towards Saga. Like, it's awesome to be in that uncharted territory and I am really excited to see what the next steps look like from here because it's blazing an entirely new trail. Oh, there's another den. Do we smell this one? Ah, uh, yes we do. All right, let's see what this is. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What did that scent say? Well, now all the scents are gone. There we go. There's one. Abandoned Beaver Lodge. Oh, that is cool. So this must have been like a this must have been a flooded area at one point. <laughs> There's a beaver lodge. That that like do you see what I'm saying? Despite despite not being like as out there of an area as Lost River, the dens here are still super unique. And I really like that cuz I don't know, it's just it's all the details like that. They've done such a good job of, of putting variety 
into even the small things like each the, the fact that the dens between Amethyst and Slough Creek feel distinct, like you have some very Amethyst Mountain dens. Man, Cricket would have loved that beaver lodge den, actually, now that I think of it. Uh, but you have something like that. You have a beaver lodge that's, you know, unique to here. We don't have something like that in Slough Creek. Or you have some of the dead trees in the burn that make up the dens. You don't have the burn area on Slough Creek, so that still really distinguishes it. Whereas in Slough Creek, you have a lot more of those rocky dens that are, you know, the, the gray stones. And we haven't encountered anything like that we have, however, encountered a wolf carcass. Well, we haven't encountered anything like that here. So it, it's nice how, because, you know, like, obviously Lost River has some of the really, really wild dens, like, you know, a, a whole airplane or uh, what are some of the other ones? There, there's dens, like, pretty close in town or the, the freaking clown den. Why? <laughs> Why is the clown dead a thing? And I think that wolf carcass must have vanished. So that was just a vaguely ominous thing. I don't know. Like, they, they really, they went off with some of the wilder dens in Lost River. But Lost River gives you more freedom to do that. So, like, I like how even, even in another map that is, I mean, it's not just Yellowstone, but it is just Yellowstone. Like, it's, it's a very naturalistic, realistic map, as opposed to a little bit more of the, a little bit out there, Lost River. And yet it still feels really unique between between the maps, between Slough Creek and, and between Amethyst. Like they, they really work with, they really, they, within, the, within the realism, they've really carved out, I think a very unique, a very special type of game. I, I think it's really cool the way that Wolf Quest has developed the way that it has. And like, again, like, I just... <laughs> I'm a little bit biased, but, like, I have so much respect for the way that the that the team has shaped this game. I think they've done an incredible job balancing the, the realism with the gameplay and, and still keeping it really unique. Oh, we are here at the same time because this was unclaimed uh, just a minute ago. Uh, we're going to claim over it now. I think this is Rescue Creek that we're competing with. So we're going to just claim this really solidly and really quickly here because I think that they're thinking that they're going to take it. And no, this is going to be our territory, actually. Uh, but that means that they are on the move. We did have to sleep. You can see our, our meter is full again. We're a little bit hungry, but I hope we can just sneak down here. Yeah, look how much they've claimed. And the, the mollies are really um, showing up as well. They are... Oh, yeah, they're, they're howling. Don't you, don't you try to unclaim our, our territory here. Yeah, there's a lot. We should probably go check chase them off, shouldn't we? <laughs> Rescue Creek, they're right over here. But yeah, it'll be interesting to kind of get to know these new packs and see what reputations they develop for themselves. Uh, I think in particular, it's really neat to, like, I don't know, I don't know too much about Rescue Creek, but the Molly's pack kind of has a reputation in real life. Uh, they were actually part of the inspiration for when we were, uh, oh, there's a den here too. Uh, they were actually part of the inspiration for when we were coming up with the challenge pack. They were part of uh, what inspired the suggestion to do bison because the Molly's pack is known for hunting bison, if I remember correctly. Uh, they they kind of are unique in that they they're really good at that and that's not something that a lot of wolves do they kind of specialized into that and so that was kind of part of the, what inspired the idea of a bison challenge uh, and a pack that would do that uh, so it's neat to have the it's neat to have that pack here okay so these guys are still in their own territory actually uh, I think we're fine. Uh, I'm not going to pursue them. I'm not going to go picking a fight. I don't particularly want that piece of territory. I do want to try to find that den, though, because we definitely encountered one. You know, I, we're not seeing sense for it, so I bet it's further up this way. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see, because I feel like all of the original packs kind of tend to develop a reputation for themselves uh, with time and different perceptions that people have of them and uh, their different kind of different things that they're known for being more or less aggressive uh or like i know lost river's lucky pack in particular <laughs> a lot of people have strong opinions about the lucky pack um and and fair enough they're 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 kind of funky fellows but it'll be interesting to see uh what the mollies and rescue creek and i think oxbow is now on single player maps as well they've been in multiplayer before but not single player um, oh, there's the, there's the, the den sense. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what comes of that, though. All right, which den is this? An abandoned fox den. Right over here somewhere. Is it that stump that's poking out? No, there are, this might just be a dirt den. 
Some of, some, of, some of them are just dirt dens. Yeah, this is just one of the dirt dens. Uh, so there are a few of these as well, but you know, you gotta get your, your good old dirt den scattered between everything. So we do have a den all the way up here, but I kinda don't wanna go fool around with that because it's kinda close. I think the Mollies might be in this territory though, so we should probably hurry up and make our way down there and make sure that we chase them out and probably steal back some of those hexes from them because I think we're gonna need them. Oh boy, I think we definitely do have Molly's wolves in this portion of the territory. Yeah, they went into this hex and that's why it's dropping. Okay, so we're gonna have to take a little detour and uh, go meet the neighbors, it would seem. Uh, this could be the start of a not-so-friendly interaction, I think. You know, Tempest, again, she's not much for starting fights, but... Uh, this is this is her territory now, and um, she she's well aware of the need to defend it. So we're gonna go after these guys because they're just waltzing right through our territory. Excuse you, absolutely not. Look at this. They are just they're just going on a whole foray up into our up into our up into our turf. They are they are going after this sent post. They are going after this sent post. Is what's happening here? Yeah. No. Absolutely not. Get out. Get out of here! Go! Be gone! Who is this? 1M and 3M. Okay, so one of those is uh, the, the dominant male here. Yeah, get out! Go back, go back the other way. This you're not running further through our territory. We're gonna we're gonna go out the proper way back to where you came. And I'm probably gonna actually just chase them all the way because we kinda wanna claim some of this territory too. Oh, here we are. You've established a good territory and found several potential dens. You and your mate are truly a pack now, so give your pack a name or ask for suggestions. And I think, honestly, for these guys, we're just going to go with the simple name of the Amethyst Pack because that is, in fact, where they're settling down on Amethyst Mountain for the very first time. And I think we'll go ahead and uh, go to choose a den here and into our first new season on Amethyst Mountain. This is going to be the spring season. Now, we won't be staying here very, very long but uh, we are going to head our way back over here. In fact, I think I will snag this one piece of territory first. Do we actually need this? Actually, this might be a little bit farther than we need to go because I think we're going to settle in some of those upper dens, so I'll ignore that for now. We'll have to flesh out our territory a little bit more in the future, but let's head back and see if we can claim a den for the Amethyst Pack. And here we are, and you know, all things considered, I think we're gonna go for this den. Uh, it's just so striking with the tree that's like all the way up and caught in this other tree. It's, it's, it's really neat. So I think we're gonna go ahead and claim this one. Now it is an open den, we're gonna be vulnerable to eagle attacks, but I think that's fine. A lot of dens are open anyway. I kind of still do prefer the wooded dens, but even so, hmm, a good name for this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it Fallen Giant because it's underneath a fallen tree. And of course, it's now time for pups. And we also have to age up, so we are gonna pick perks. Now, the one that I know for sure I wanna take, I think is gonna be speed because again, pronghorns are new. We're gonna wanna fool around with them a little bit. Likewise, I think strength would be another good one. And... Honestly, I'm tempted to go with stamina because Tempest doesn't have a lot of it. Youthful Prowess is always nice, but I think we'll do stamina this time. We always take Youthful Prowess, and I feel like we should mix it up a little bit, maybe. Fun Parent is also a nice one, but I think... Yeah, I think we'll, I'll think we'll go with purely attribute boosts this time, and uh, we'll go ahead and take these perks for the upcoming year, and here are the puppies! Oh my gosh, there's all seven! <laughs> oh goodness, that's a large litter, even without youthful prowess. Oh boy, am I stuck in auto-run? Uh-oh, uh, let's, let's not auto-run away from the dead. <laughs> goodness sakes, there we go. And another thing that's new as of this update, the babies are going to be really tentative and wobbly first coming out of the den. Look at them, they're so cute. It's going to take them a little while to get out of there. Looks like we have a pretty dark coat on Amethyst 2M, whereas 2F is very strikingly light. 6F is kind of timbery, so we have at least five girls. We definitely have a lot more, a lot more girls than boys this litter. 
3F is also a little bit on the timbery side. Look at them! Oh my goodness! We should probably feed them as well, and that'll kind of congregate them in one place too. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is really cute. <laughs> Again, it's just these little details like this that, that, that really bring everything together, and I, I love the way that, that Wolf Quest adds them. And we have, I think, 3M, it looks... Yeah, 3M has that, that off-white coat. Oh my goodness, 3F almost toppled over. Okay, 4F has... Is that the false gray coat? That might be the false gray coat. It's not as clearly reddish as I've seen it, but I think that might be false gray. So that's kind of neat. Uh, 5F is also kind of timbery, and I think... Is that everyone? That's everyone, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 3M, be careful. Oh, they're too precious. Now, as per the usual, we're not going to be giving their, their names just yet. Uh, I think we'll give them their names probably in, in a couple of episodes, probably. Uh, so if you have name ideas for them, feel free to put those in the comments below. We'll be picking from uh, among those comments. Again, I can't guarantee every name will get picked, but I will be picking from those comments. So at least some of them will. Uh, at least some of them will. But with that, I think this is probably going to have been a little bit of a long episode, so I do hope you guys have enjoyed it anyway, but I think we are going to go ahead and wrap this up here, because it is getting to be about that time again. Next time we're going to have to go hunt for these guys, because goodness sakes, they are hungry and they're already eating us out of house and home. Uh, but we'll go ahead and leave this off here for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay over and out.